Tributes are pouring in for Ellis Marsalis Jr. The jazz pianist, teacher, and patriarch of a New Orleans musical family died late Wednesday from pneumonia brought on by the coronavirus. Paul Murphy had one of the final interviews with Marsalis, and he asked reaction to the passing of a cultural icon. Ellis Marcellus played Do You Know What It Means to Miss New Orleans for us in January. New Orleans is now learning what it means to miss Ellis Marcellus. He is remembered for his brand of modern jazz, his influence on generations of musicians, and the impact he had as an educator. Marcellus told me he saw little difference between performing on stage or in a classroom. I always considered what I was doing as, in a way, it was passing it on. New Orleans pianist David Turganowski is one of the many musicians who considered Marcellus a mentor. Taught us how to approach the music with reverence and majesty, and uh, it's, a, it's a Smithsonian level loss. Turganowski played one of Marcellus's compositions called Syndrome. Turganowski remembers lessons Marcellus taught him every day. The music comes first. Don't play anything you can't hear. Be true to yourself as an artist. Marcellus stopped playing his weekly gig at Snug Harbor after more than 30 years for health reasons late last year. I'm going to be playing. You know, I, I, don't, I don't have any intention of uh, not playing. You know, I won't even say retire. Jason Patterson at Snug Harbor said Marsalis performed with his son Jason just three weeks ago. A big part of his following was that, and a big part of him playing at this club, was that you had an environment where it'd be quiet and you could listen to him play. And even though it was low key and not in your face, it was just musical elegance. The cause of death was complications of COVID-19, his son Branford Marcellus said on his website. Torganowski said Marcellus's death underscores the seriousness of the virus. This is no joke, people. We need to stay inside. We need to stay apart until we can get a handle on this. Otherwise, Ellis Marcellus won't be the last icon that we lose to this insidious virus. Snug Harbor is now closed because of the coronavirus outbreak. Jason Patterson says one of the things they want to do when Frenchman Street finally reopens is to have a tribute night to Ellis Marcellus. Ellis Marcellus was 85. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News.